Other news now, a Rockport man said to be in his early 20s remains hospitalized tonight, recovering from severe burns. He was injured this morning when the RV that he was living in burst into flames. Our Stephen Cavazos was in Rockport for us today, and he has details on what happened and how a caring neighbor wound up saving a life. This is what's left of one man's home following an early morning fire that sent shockwaves in this community, some feeling the call to action to make safety a top priority. The smell of smoke, the sound of fire engines, and the remains of one man's home was what residents of the hooked up RV park woke up to. And I see this smoke coming up in the air and I said, gee whiz, I hope uh, that's got to be in the park here. The Aransas Pass and Aransas County Fire Departments arrived to a fully engulfed RV fire, which broke out before 9 in the morning. Many in the area still shaking up. This is the first time I've seen anything happen in here, you know, so it's unusual. The fire remains under investigation, but residents are still concerned with how quickly the flame spread, which left their neighbor without a home. We are prepared. We know what we had to do, but many people don't. This woman we spoke to asked us not to show her face, but she wants people to know these neighbors have each other's backs. Everybody knows everyone. It is not just one person's life, but it's many people's life. We had to take care of each other. And that's where this woman comes in. Angela McGee heard a loud sound that prompted her to look outside, where she saw her neighbor on fire. I just yelled for him to drop, to drop down on the ground and roll to get, get the fire out. Her home just a few steps away. Any concern that your home was going to be in jeopardy of catching fire as well? I didn't care about that. All I cared about was making sure he was safe. McGee's years of experience in the medical field went into action. It just, it just kicked in. I knew, I was like, I got to help this kid. The man who we're told is in his early 20s remains in the hospital with serious burns, but is expected to be okay, thanks to neighbors like McGee. As soon as they move out, I'm heading over to the hospital to check on him. <laughs> Stephen Cavazos, 3 News. Wow, great lady. Hope that turns out okay. Thank you, Stephen.